Hello Plotter Experts. In this segment, we will be enhancing our home screen by heading a categories section. So yeah, let's just dive into the code. First, let's just create our model to represent our categories. Each category will have an ID and image and her name. So first, I will be just creating a new directory here. Uh, which will be the new folder and I'll just name it models and inside this model I will be just adding all the models related to my this project so for now I will just need to create the categories model so I'll be just creating a new dart file here which will be category models dot dart and now here I'll be just creating a simple class which will be category model and now I will be just adding the required fields for this which I just need an ID and image and a name for the category so I'll be just adding the final fields here so for that I'll be just using the final which will be final string uh, ID image and the name and great now I'll be just creating the constructor for this which will be the same name as our this class name so yeah i'll be just creating that now i'll just need to um head all the final fields into this constructor so i'll just go to quick spec and i'll just add the uh hold the requires field so yeah i'll just cut this from here and i'll just add this into this parameter and now i'll just add the required a keyword here to just solve the issue so basically this this all the uh, parameters will be required for me for us so we just need all of this so i'll be just adding the required keyword so yeah now i'll just save this and paste this and great now i am done by creating our model and now let's create a list of categories using our models each entry will represent a specific category so for that i will be just moving to my this const directory and in the app constants i will be just creating our uh, list so we will be just accessing this list so for that i'll be just using the static keyword uh the list and the list within this time the list uh type will be however this model type which we have just created so now i'll be just using the category model and yeah it uh, needs to be imported so i'll be just importing this and for now i'll be just creating the category um Category list categories list. I'll just name the list as categories list and I'll just create a list So yeah, now I'll just um, Simply I'll be making this list but first I will be just importing this category model. So we will be just uh, Removing the error. So now I will be just calling our category model which will be category model and yeah now we just need to put all the required fields so yeah i have just misspelled this image so i'll be just going and just uh quickly correcting this basically so which will be images and images yeah i'll just save this and now i will be just also renaming this uh, from here which will be images images great so now i just need to um, give it a id so for that i'll be just using the fonts so for me it will be fonts and where, from where i'll be just getting the um, images we, we as you know that we have just created a asset manager class for her so we will be just uh calling that asset manager so now i'll be just using this and now i'll be just using the asset manager dot mobile to just uh, get the mobile's images for us so now i'll just name this pawns great now i'll just save this and now i will be just creating multiple uh, 
categories into this list so we can just be um, using all the categories laptops electronics and etc so i will be just quickly copying and pasting the same model and i'll be just renaming and just changing um the images also so i'll be just quicking uh moving fast from here so you can just copy and paste this so with our categories defined let's display them in the home screen so we will be just using a grid view for a neat uh, layout so for that we will be just moving to our home screen again and here under this uh, code here in the under the sized box of this latest arrival product widget so here i will be just creating a size box to just give it some kind of spacings between these um two so for that i'll be just using the const sized box and i'll just give it the height 18 and i'll just save this and now i will be just calling the uh adding a title here which will be categories so for that i'll be just using our customized title text widget which will be title text widget and i'll just name it categories and i will just define the font size also which will be 22 in our case so we just maintain the uh, for size same for all the titles so yeah i'll just save this and we will be just getting the categories here so so far so good now i'll be just moving and i'll just copying this uh, size box from here and i'll just paste this to have some kind of spaces under this category and i'll just save this again now this time we just need 18 great now i will be just um calling our this grid view which will be the grid view and this time it requires so i will be just calling the grid view count so for that we just don't need this which will be grid count and yeah now i will be just adding all the important fields here so for that we just need to use the children property uh, for this and great now we will be just using the list dot generate so what should be the length of these categories so we will be just uh, getting the length from our the um, list which we have just created on the app constant class so for that i will be just calling the app constant uh, category list dot length so for that i will be just calling the help constant and which will be categories list dot length and that's it now i will be just using the index here and now i'll just um return um the category rounded widget so we will be just creating this later on so but, but for now i will be just um creating i will be just returning a simple text for now which will be text and this will be button so i'll just add this but we will be just creating um our rounded button so to show just uh, the categories in her rounded a form or into rounded shape so we will be just doing that in a second but before that we, are to, we will be just getting what we are just getting so we have just missed the cross x count which is required field for this grid view so uh, i will be just adding that which will be cross axis count so i just need four um, categories on this row so i'll be just adding that so yeah now we are still getting some kind of errors so for that now we are just using less so we don't need to use this these brackets for the list so i'll just remove these and that's it now we will be just solving the issue so i'll just save this here and let's see 
what we will be just getting on the home screen so we have just got some kind of um, um, render flow or the size issue so we will be just tackling that out uh, so we just need to uh, use some kind of properties here so you can just wrap it with the expanded widget but this time i will be just doing some different things so you can just um also be aware about these properties so without uh, ex uh, wrapping this widget uh with our expanded widget so you can also solve this issue so we will be just getting that so let's just uh, dive into it which will be shrink wrap so i'll just make it to true so it will just shrink and now i'll just use the physics and we will be just using never scroll hevel physics so it will just block the scrolling section so this time we will just don't need to scroll anything so it will just block all the scrolling mm, things yeah now i'll just save this and we will see what we will be just now getting yeah we are just getting the um, this overflow issue from the downside so we will be just uh tackling that so i'll just uh, now uh, decrease this for now the space between these so yeah we will be just um, tackling this issue by just creating however this uh, widget which we will be just custom um, we will be just creating a reusable widget which will be category rounded widget which will be category rounded widget and yeah i will be just creating this in a second so we are let's just move to our widget section and the products directory i will be just creating a new file uh, which will be category rounded button rounded widget dot dot and here here in this uh, file i will be just creating a stateless widget uh, which will be a stateful it's a stateless widget and i'll just name it category rounded widget and that's it now we just uh, also need to add some kind of final field so we will be just getting all these from dynamically so i will be just using and adding them in our constructor so first we just need an image and a name for this so i will be just using the final string and which will be um name image and the name great i'll just add all both of them in our final field so i'll be just getting them and i'll just save this and yeah that's it we are done so now i will be just um, cutting this placeholder from here and now i will be just using a column widget uh, which will be a column and column requires the children as you know so for that we will be just uh, getting the image from the asset which will be image uh, dot set now we will be just getting the image from this image which we will be just getting dynamically we will we will be calling that in our home screen and we will just get the image from our asset manager so great now we will just need to specify the size for this image so which will be uh, the height will be 50 and the width will be 52 so we also need to just um, head a subtitle here under this image so we just need to um, use the subtitle text which will be subtitle your subtitle what was that subtitle subtitle text widget and yeah now i'll just label this and i'll just provide the name uh, we will be just getting the label from this uh, variable from name and I will be just specifying some font size here uh, which will be 14 and I will just give it some kind of font weight to bold so font weight and font weight to bold great now I'll just save this and now I'll just import this from here and great now we just need to add some kind of 
uh, required fields into it so i'll be just adding them so we just need to use the image property which is required and we will be just getting the uh, images from app constants dot um, categories list and i'll be just uh, using the dot image which will be that which will be category list and we will be just using this index basically so i will be just providing this index whatever index we will be just getting and i will be just providing that image uh, to a specific category so yeah now i will also just need to specify the name so for the name i will be just copying this from here and i'll just paste this here and in this place of images now i'll be just using the name and great now i'll just save this and let's see what we will be just getting and yeah we are getting some kind of um, workflow issues so for that we just need to decrease the sizes so for now i will be just using the 12 so i'll just manage this to 10 yeah we are still getting these but we will be just solving this issue with the media query but later on but i will be just solving them in uh, reducing the sizes spaces so i'll just remove this size box from here and now i'll just save this and yeah we are still getting that issue overflow issue so what i will be just doing so i will just uh, make this um, scrollable basically so for that we just need to wrap our this um whole widget or all this column widget with the scroll single scroll view so i will be just wrapping that so let's see what we will be just um getting so i'll be just using single child scroll view and how i'll just save this and i will be just using this weight for now and yeah we are done by just solving this issue and i will just also give the um, size box and spaces again to just uh, get some kind of spaces here so for that i will be just using the 18 again which will be 18 and i'll just save this and there you have it we have successfully added our categories section to our home screen if you enjoyed this session or have questions feel free to drop a comment stay tuned for more flutter adventures until then stay happy stay fit and as usual happy fluttering